So this is our last video for uh, biotechnology and its applications. And here we are talking about transgenic animals. The abbreviation used is TA, that is for transgenic animals. These are the animals whose genetic makeup has been modified either by introducing a new gene or a foreign gene or modifying their own genetic material. Now the reason why we want these transgenic animals, there are few very important reasons where we use these uh, organisms. One is to study the normal physiology and development. We want to study how the genes are responsible for functioning of normal physiological processes and the development of an organism. For that, we introduce a specific gene into these animals and then study the behavior of that gene. Second application is to study genes responsible for diseases. To study diseases or genes responsible for diseases or to see how a gene uh, manifests itself and that results into the disease. So first we introduce that disease causing gene into the animal and then we study the behavior of that gene plus the drugs which we are uh, using or we want to use for the treatment of these diseases. Third is to obtain biological products. We'll take a couple of examples here which biological projects are obtained using these transgenic animals. Uh, if we use the term transgenic organisms then even E. coli would come here but as we are talking of animals we'll take the example of higher uh, animals. In sheep, scientists have introduced a gene to synthesize alpha 1 antitrypsin. Antitrypsin. This is used to treat emphysema. Now emphysema is a condition where there is insufficient oxygen supply going to the tissues because of less exchange. Antitrypsin, alpha-1 antitrypsin is used to treat this. Scientists have introduced this gene into sheep. That means we have obtained transgenic sheep. And in these sheep, this alpha-1 antitrypsin is produced and that accumulates or is present in milk. So if milk of this sheep is given to an individual suffering from emphysema, then that could be a cure. Another important uh, product which we obtain is, we have created or scientists have created the first transgenic cow. Its no name is Rosie. This was the transgenic cow. And the gene which was introduced into this cow was for synthesis of a human protein. Normally, when human babies are, uh, they are not having a mother's milk for whatever reason, mother is not able to lactate properly, or if mother undergoes some kind of major surgery, then the substitute of mother's milk which is given to these babies is cow's milk. And cow's milk is not without, of, or not with human protein. So we want to introduce the human protein gene into the cow. So that in cow's milk there is this protein. The gene is for alpha lactalbumin. This is human protein. So when this gene was introduced into this cow that is rosy, the milk produced by the cow contained this protein that is human protein and 
this milk cow's milk was a very good supplement or a substitute of mother's milk these two are important examples when we talk of obtaining biological products another reason why we want these transgenic organisms is for vaccine safety the vaccines which are given to humans they are first tested on animals and we want to check whether this vaccine is doing exactly the same thing which we want it to do then it is used on human beings another application or place where we want these transgenic animals is to test for chemicals so that is chemical safety chemical safety or chemical toxicity that means whether this particular chemical is toxic to human beings or not that also is first tested on animals and then that chem chemical or drug can be used for humans so these are main five places where we use transgenic animals to study normal physiology to study the diseases caused by various genes to obtain certain products and to test vaccines or chemicals before they can be used on human beings so with this all applications are complete of biotechnology last couple of things which we need to discuss are what exactly we mean by bioethics biopiracy and biopatent bioethics term is normally uh, used in reference to using a particular organism after modifying its genes so is it ethical to modify an organism what right do we have to modify that organism and after when we have modified the genetic makeup of that organism is it safe for our consumption or use to solve these issues or problems Indian government has introduced a committee or started a committee which is known as GEAC G E A C the full form is genetic engineering approval committee this committee takes care of all such ethical issues whether we should be using these organisms is there any kind of side effect which it would produce in our body and so on and so forth so this is the committee which indian government has set up to deal with the bioethical issues now biopiracy is basically uh, taking rights of something and using it it is also termed as legal theft we know piracy means um, stealing something but when we are talking of this it is legalized because these people they take patent of uh, a particular process or a particular genome or a particular technique and then using that certificate they can use it for their uh, new research and discoveries so bio patent uh, for example an interesting uh, thing in 1997 us company rice tech took the patent of basmati there are 27 documented varieties of basmati which are of indian origin and this rice tech company took the patent of this basmati this meant that they can use the genome of this particular varieties to create new kinds of hybrids our scientists took this uh, thing seriously and they got the patent back of this rice variety of uh, or basmati variety of rice slowly and gradually this awareness is increasing that we need to have the patent of the things which belong to us or we have developed so patents are given on the basis of certain new techniques or if somebody has coded a new amino acid sequence of a protein or any new thing which has not been documented before for that the patents are given 
and biopiracy basically is illegal theft when you're taking somebody else's discovery or invention and then with the help of that patent you're trying to use it for your benefit and to deal with such things like bioethical things our government has uh, incorporated a committee which deals with it so with this we are uh, done with the complete part of biotechnology in the first chapter we studied all the basic techniques processes and how we use them on a commercial scale the second chapter was about only the application parts